Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Halo sahabat BWM Di dalam rangkaian Forum Internasional High Speed Rail Association Atau Asosiasi Kereta Cepat Sedunia Ada sesi yang sangat menarik Berjudul The Role and Potential of High Speed Rail In the Sustainable New Era Dimana di dalam sesi tersebut dipaparkan oleh Negara-negara anggota seperti Jepang Taiwan dan Spanyol Bagaimana usaha-usaha mereka untuk merealisasikan Keberlanjutan di era baru tersebut Serta dekarbonisasi untuk meminimumkan emisi. Silahkan simak sampai tuntas dan salam akal sehat. Akal sehat. あの、明日のセッションの中で言えば、え、セッション 3、High-speed rail is in a very strong position when it comes to carbon efficiency. Uh, we've seen many presentations about the reductions in uh, energy consumption and the more efficient uh, uh, generation of power. Um, and as such, it, lead, it, it leads in transport terms in the drive towards uh, net zero for public transport or in mass public transport systems. But how does high-speed rail stand up against other, some of the other challenges of sustainability uh, against its competition uh, and indeed some of the features of sustainability that uh, go beyond the, the environment and carbon? So when we look at um, the CO2 emissions per kilometer per person with Shinkansen is 23 grams, whereas the air travel will be 98 grams, uh, meaning it's one-fourth of air travel. Okay, that for the future strategy, like everybody, for the ESG, like uh, environmental, social, economic, regarding the environment, we have to reduce the disaster risk. We have to implement the energy con conservation, the carbon reduction. These vessels are the clearest evidence that Renfe is committed to achieving the sustainable development goals to guarantee the future of the high-speed trains in Spain. The direction going forward is um, more relaxation so that we will have more flexibility, meaning we can promote more what we call off-peak um, uh, travel, um, so uh, peak shaving. In other words, uh, deregulation is what we are asking the government to implement. Previously, we just focused on those uh, uh, water accumulation problem within the territory of the Taiwan High Speed Rail. But now we have to turn turning our focus on the out of our, like uh, maybe uh, 200 or 300 meters away. The great difficulty is not the technology, because the technology is, is easy to can buy, to can use, to can provoke. Uh, it's, it's very complex in terms of the organization, the governance of the system. We've seen three companies that have clearly grasped the challenges associated with sustainability, and they've all demonstrated that, uh, that they are taking it seriously and that they've got strategies uh, for now and the future to address that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.